May is Mental Health Awareness Month, and this morning, Olympic gold medal winner Lori Hernandez is speaking out on why the mind matters. This is Lori's first TV interview since USA Gymnastics suspended her former coach for abusive behavior towards Lori. Lori says the abuse was one reason she took a break from the sport after Rio, but now she's back in training looking toward Tokyo 2021, and she joins us now. Lori, good morning to you. Good morning. How are you? I'm doing okay. I'm eager to talk to you about mental health and this new initiative uh, that you're hosting. But first, let me quickly um, ask you about what happened last month. I know it was a big deal. Your former coach, Maggie Haney, she was suspended for eight years by USA Gymnastics. And you say it was years of emotional and very verbal abuse, including being yelled at so loudly people in the parking lot could hear. And I think a lot of people didn't realize, though, that uh, you know sometimes she was making you work out when you were dealing with multiple injuries. And the hearings for this investigation happened while you were training for Tokyo 2020. So how difficult was that for you? And are you satisfied ultimately with the suspension? Um, I mean, just the fact that the case was open in an Olympic year was pretty difficult. I think, um, mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's tough in general and I'm, I'm just glad that we were able to talk about it and, and get our story out and make sure that it was heard. And, um, it wasn't just me. It was, it was other girls as well. We were able to speak out about it. And I think that was really important. It's a really big step, um, for gymnasts and for USA gymnastics, just to go ahead and do the right thing. And, and make sure people know that that kind of treatment isn't okay. It's, it's, it's not okay. And I know you and your mother finally filed a complaint with USA Gymnastics in 2016. Do you think USA Gymnastics waited too long to launch an investigation? Um, I mean, yeah, <laughs> we, we had sent in, oops, sorry about that. We had sent in, um, <laughs> some, I guess, a, a type of report in 2016 um, when I had first told my mom about everything that had happened. And um, I mean, the, the case was opened late 2019, early 2020. And so I think in all that time, it could have prevented a lot of athletes from having to go through um, the same thing that I went through. But uh, I'm just glad that we were able to do something about it. Sure. Well, we reached out to Maggie Haney for a response. Haney says she plans to appeal the decision. Um, let me read her quote here. She says uh, she her she says her coaching techniques were at all times well intended, meant specifically lead, to lead her to her personal goal of achieving Olympic gold. If the pursuit of excellence and the rigor of my coaching style has resulted in any harm to any gymnast that has been a part of my team, I am truly sorry. And finally, USA Gymnastics responded in part, we vow to do better, to respond more empathically, to resolve complaints more efficiently, and to be more vigilant. We will keep improving this process until our athletes in our community can trust it. And we certainly hope that is the case. All right, now let's look forward and talk about this special event. You say you have dealt with depression, we all know, and an eating disorder, but you know what? You're gonna use that and help other people. You're gonna channel your experience and help other teenagers and everybody, frankly, with an event. It's called Stronger Than You Think. I love that title. Tell us about it. I love it so much as well. Stronger Than You Think is a educational and exciting program for um, teens and up. It's where we can go ahead and interview celebrities and have them openly speak up about their mental health and just talk a little bit about themselves as well. I think it's important to have uh, that kind of representation, especially with people that you look up to. And so the I can. <laughs> the lives are going to be done um, May 27th through the 29th. And um, that's going to be 2 to 7 p.m. Uh, Pacific time. And uh, the hashtag is uh, STYT, which is for Stronger Than You Think. STYT.org has all the information that's going to be there. It's going to be streaming on multiple platforms from TikTok, YouTube, Facebook, Instagram. So a lot of people are going to have access to it. And we have um, two large nonprofits, which is NAMI and One Mind. And uh, those are, are a big step um, and making sure that we get the representation and, and all the, the help and the voices and all the action we need to make sure everybody's staying um, mentally safe during COVID. Absolutely. It's so important. Finally, you took some time off after Rio. There are a lot of people who are looking up to you. I know you're back <laughs> in the gym now with new coaches and training uh, to hopefully make a Team USA for Tokyo 2021. How is your training doing? And how is it different now? Yeah, I mean, 
before we all had to go home and stay home for self-isolation, um, training was going really well. I think uh, it was nice. it was definitely getting the rug swept out from underneath you when we heard that the Olympics was going to be delayed by a year. But at the same time, I think every athlete, um, we can all agree that the world comes first and that the health and safety of everybody mm -hmm. comes first before anything else. So it was definitely a tough decision that I'm sure had to be made, but it was for the greater good. I understand it. Um, and I'm, I'm going to be training. I'll, I'll be hanging in there, but the training right before we all had to take a break, it was going pretty well. I mean, the best part mm -hmm. I think about gymnastics was getting all these big skills and finally being able to piece them together to show it off. Um, and of course the leotards, I really wanted to wear leotards for me season this Aww. year. Cause I got to design them, but that'll have to wait. And I'm totally okay with that. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. I actually look forward to seeing it too. Laura, you are such a delight. Thank you so much for everybody at home. If they want to learn more about next week's Stronger Than You Think event, you can go to thirdhourtoday.com. And I like your curls, by the way. We're doing the curl ah, thing this thank week. thank you. <laughs> yeah, we chose to dye our hair during self-isolation. We had to. <laughs> I love it. Cheers. Cheers to you. Dylan, I'll send it over to you.